Hello everyone and welcome back to my Lawn Bowls for Fun channel. Today I'm going to talk about hand signals we use on a bowling green. Now it could well be that you've got pretty good hearing but even so if there's any noises going on around the green for example we have a road nearby which sometimes we have cars go by or motorbikes and it's sometimes difficult to hear. We also live quite near an airport and planes fly overhead. And if you're like me, you're hard of hearing anyway, then it sometimes can be difficult to hear what someone else is saying down the green. So we use hand signals, which I find really, really useful and a lot of other people do too. So the first thing we have to do is the first hand signal is when the, the mat has been placed and the skip, I'm acting as the skip at the moment, is down the other end and I need to make sure that the mat is lined up properly. So what I'll do is I'll go and stand in front of the number and I'll make clear signals as to how much I want the mat moving. Only six inches now. Yeah, just a little bit more. Yep, that's fine. So that's a simple instruction on centering the mat. So the hand signals being, obviously, if you want it moving that direction to the right, if it's the other way, and tell the person down their end how much they need to move the mat, then slightly less. And if it's just a small amount, then hold the hand up and be quite clear that you're happy with that. Once the mat is centered, and the jack has been cast down the green, it's then up to the skip to make sure it's centered on the green. And the person down the other end will be on the mat, like so. And once I'm on the mat, I can then say how much I want the jack moving. When indicating how far you want the jack moved, not only is it useful to, to point in the direction that you're talking about anyway, but if it's only a small amount you want to move, don't, don't do this because you can't see the fingers in front of the face so you need to keep it to one side and if it's only a small amount don't hold it in front of your face keep to one side that far by that much or even better with two fingers and be yeah just a little bit now just one or two turns yep and when it's centered then a clear indication that you're happy with the jack and then you bowl the first bowl. So once the game has started you sometimes need to know what the position is in the head. So what we'll do is I'll go through those now with you. For example you can't see the jack. If you're down your end in the green you've got no idea where the jack is. So what I would do is I would indicate that it's behind that bowl. You can use a towel if you like to indicate that's where the jack is, or even a hat, I suppose. Here we go. That's where the jack is. But usually, most people tend to use the hand. There's the jack. Quite straightforward. Sometimes players like you to stand so that you are indicating the length of the jack. They can't see the jack, but they're aiming the length is where your foot is. That's not where they're going to bowl. Of course, they're going to bowl behind that bowl. The skip will also tell you which way to bowl. It might tell you to use this hand, it might tell you to use that hand. And that's just a simple instruction as to which direction you want him to come into, into the head. If you've got any more um, information, he might ask you to come in here, onto this bowl. You often do hear skips still say what they want anyway, but they indicate by hand signals as well to make things clearer. So in that situation, if I was bowling and it, we, we're bowling with the brown bowls, we're one down, I would indicate, yeah, come in here onto this bowl and push it out. You also might decide you just want them to draw behind. If we're already holding one, if we're playing with the, the player that's already got the orange bowls, there's a danger over here of knocking that brown bowl in. So he would say, come this way onto this bowl or just come inside it. So still indicating with the hands. You can see a bowl has just been delivered 
and it's about this much short of the jack so I'll just indicate by clearly that it's about four four and a half feet short of the jack you can... likewise you might say that that bowl's gone through about this much I tend to use the um, it, it doesn't really matter I suppose which way you use some people use this for short and that for long and others vice versa it doesn't matter as long as it's clear what you're indicating so I would tend to to offer the one that's gone through I'd say it's gone through by that much because you can't tell when you're down the other end of the bowling green although you can tell the width that your bowls are what you can't tell is how deep the bowl has gone through so in a quick indication let them know they're about two and a half feet through in that instance and it is also um, the distance you're indicating is where the bowl is as to where the jack is not diagonally if it was diagonally it would be more like this wouldn't it but that's not what they want to know they want to know how far past the jack they've gone which is by that much if the bowl has been sent down the green and it's level with the jack you would simply do this it's level with the jack lined up with the jack the length is about right in this instance the person on the mat is asking who's got shot and I'm not sure so I'm just going to indicate it means this means it's a measure if however the jack was closer then we're holding one or in that case we're one down because you can't see sometimes the one finger in in the air or down you you, you indicate by saying we're one up or we're one down so hitting your shoulder means you're holding two and hitting your thigh means you're down two now in this instance it's pretty clear which bowls are yours and which ones are your opponents because they're orange and brown there's a big color difference but sometimes bowls are the same color and you're not sure who's holding shot so you would normally indicate say this one's ours this one's ours that one's against this one's ours, and that's against. So you're clearly indicating which bowls are your own team bowls, uh, which are the opponents. Some um, players I see do this is away, and that's away, and this one's ours, this one's ours, that one's ours. It doesn't matter which method you use. I tend to use the shake your hand method myself, but I know some people do this method of that's away, and that's away doesn't really matter which you use as long as it's clear what you're indicating as I said on this instance there it's pretty obvious which bowls are which anyway because they're different colors at the end of an end orange have scored two shots and if that's my team I would indicate I wouldn't put up two because you probably can't see down the other end of the green two fingers being held up you might do but it's easy just to say two shots to us and if sadly you're the brown team in two shots down you would indicate two down very very straightforward very easy oh and one other is is that if the bowl down the other end of the green if you're not sure whether it's on our rink or not or gone onto another rink or out of play you indicate clearly by standing on the line whether the bowl is in this is our rink so that was in our rink and if you indicate with this arm it's out, it's gone on to either another rink, or in fact this is out of play, this part of the green. So you can see that that bowl is clearly out of the rink, we're playing on rink one. Or in this instance, the bowl is in, not by much, but if any part of that bowl is on that line, it is considered to be on your rink, so that one is in. So they're the main signals you'll use. It's quite straightforward really. I know it varies a little bit from country to country. Um, I've, t I've shown you what generally is used in, in my part of the UK. Um, I do know that uh, up north they might do slightly different signals and in other countries they might vary it very slightly. But I think 90% of what I've just shown you should be what you do in your own country. So I hope you find that helpful. Do use hand signals because if you're like me and you're hard of hearing, you're just not gonna hear down the other end of the green what people are saying to you hand signals are really really useful 
It also saves everybody shouting down the green anyway. If you've got six games going on, there'd be a lot of shouting going on, wouldn't there? So use hand signals um, where possible, or at least when you're giving a description, give hand signals as well. So I hope you find that useful and um, I'll see you again soon.